We've already talked a little bit about how drugs can act as agonists or antagonists for uh, neurotransmitters, and that can be a mechanism for how a drug works. So we're going to look at a little bit general, a little bit specific. We're not going to look at specific drugs, but we're going to look at if a drug acts like an agonist, agonist, then what are some mechanisms that it can use to do that? And if the drug acts like an antagonist, what are some mechanisms that it could use to do that? So remember, an agonist is something that's going to increase the effect of the neurotransmitter, of a neurotransmitter. So if a drug is an agonist to a neurotransmitter, it's going to basically do the same thing that the neurotransmitter does. And there's several, like, ways that this can happen. If a drug is an antagonist, it's going to decrease the effect of the neurotransmitter. And there's several ways that that can happen. Okay, let's talk about agonists first. In fact, what would be awesome is if you push pause and then just, like, brainstorm. Like, what are some things that a drug could do to increase the action of the, the neuro, or to mimic the effect of the neurotransmitter? And, well, dude, that's <laughs> the very first one on my list, is that it can basically um, look like the neurotransmitter. It looks and acts like, that says like, the neurotransmitter. Seems kind of obvious, but that means that it's going to bind to the proper receptor and stimulate the same response. What else can it do? An agonist could increase the neurotransmitter release. So an agonist could come in and bind to calcium channels and open up calcium channels, allow more calcium in, barf out more neurotransmitter, done. It increases the amount of neurotransmitter in there and so increases the effect of that neurotransmitter. That's an agonist action. It could also open, now this is kind of a weird one, it could open a channel that the neurotransmitter opens. Sometimes, so that's essentially having the same effect that the neurotransmitter has. And this is a huge one. An agonist molecule could come in and block the neurotransmitter enzyme. Now, talk to me about that one. If, it, if, an, if a molecule comes in and blocks Pac-Man, what's going to happen to the neurotransmitter in the synapse? It's going to stay there. It's going to increase the drug blocked the enzyme and thereby increased the action of the neurotransmitter because it stayed in the synapse. Otherwise, it would have gotten functionalized. Not a real word. Agonist actions, they're real, folks. They're real. Well, look at these. If an, I mean, I said, did I say antagonist or agonist? I don't know. I meant antagonist actions. If an agonist opens the channel that a neurotransmitter opens, an antagonist is going to close it. Shut that door, dog. If an agonist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually look at this one. An antagonist can block, think about this one, the sodium, potassium, pump. Does that blow your mind? What happens if the sodium-potassium pump is blocked? You're not going to be able to maintain your membrane potential. And then can your neuron fire? No. And can you get neurotransmitter in the synapse if you don't get an action potential traveling down your neuron? No. That guy acted like an antagonist. And my last one says I can block I can block channels. I can close them and I can block them. What's the difference? Block channels, 
or block channels. Dude, why don't we just block some channels? <laughs> all right, I'll write it down. We'll block channels. How's that? If you block channels, you're going to antagonize the system. Okay, we should be able to, as we go through the course, as you mess with your integration projects, you probably are going to be looking at treatments for various conditions. And one of the things, often treatments are drugs. And you should be able to identify, is this drug acting as an agonist for something or an antagonist for something? Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is a specific example of an illegal drug and some mechanisms by which it has the effect that it has.